Okay, let's go ahead and understand the order of operations in about seven minutes. So that's my goal for this video. Um, hopefully I can get this uh, done in about seven minutes, but maybe it will go a little bit over. But uh, either way, in short order, you're going to understand uh, probably much more than you maybe you previously had about the order of operations. So extremely important topic in mathematics. But before we get going, let me introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tabba Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher, but to have uh, uh, many, many online math courses to include pre-algebra. And I mentioned uh, specifically pre-algebra because that's kind of like when you really um, learn order of operations, but you learn this in other courses as well. I'm going to leave a link to my pre-algebra course in a description of this video, but uh, if you're taking another math course, you can, you can kind of navigate uh, to my uh, website and find, you know, maybe what course that specifically you're in if you want to check that out. But let's get into understanding the order of operations. And the first thing we need to understand about the order of operations is this little acronym right here. Okay. So uh, all of you, I'm sure, uh, learned this sometime in your middle or high school years. But uh, P E M D A S. Okay. So it stands for, well, well, we'll kind of use the phrase that's kind of common. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Okay, so that's kind of one way to remember this little phrase, but this is really important. So the P stands for parentheses. Okay, now parentheses can, can look like this or they can look like brackets, but basically these are grouping symbols. Okay, the E stands for exponents or powers. You probably see something that is a power like two. Uh, squared. M stands for multiplication. D stands for division. And then A is addition and S is subtraction. So the order of operations. Well, what do we mean here? Order of operations. But what operations are we talking about? Well, in math, multi um, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, all these things are operations. Okay. So the order of operation tells us what order to do things. Do we multiply first or do we divide first, add, subtract? Because depending on how you, um, what order we do these things, we can come up with all types of different answers, okay? <laughs> One is going to be right, the rest are going to be wrong. So it's really, really important that you understand the order of operations. Now, there's one thing that I want to mention, okay, before I do this problem. Let me go ahead and write this uh, PEMDAS. That's how we kind of refer to this, P-E-M-D-A-S. Let me write it this way. Actually, let me write it a little bit bigger. Stick with me here because this, what I'm going to say is extremely important, P-E-M-D-A-S. Okay, so first we're going to go ahead and do parentheses, grouping symbols, and then we're going to do powers. So this is the order and the way we're going to do things. Now, M and D is multiplication and division. I want to break this up in this way, okay? So this M and D multiplication and division, we're going to do, well, let me just explain this a little bit better. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look to do anything uh, that has parentheses or grouping symbols. That's what we're going to do first. This is the order. The second thing we're going to do is powers, okay? Then the third thing we're going to do is multiplication or division, and this is... Uh, where a lot of students get confused about the order of operations. They think that multiplication always comes before division. That's not the case, okay? It's multiplication or division, and what it's whatever comes first from left to right. Okay, this is really, really important point, so that's why I'm highlighting it. And the last but not least is addition or subtraction. Again, it's whatever comes first from left to right, okay? Now, um, I've seen other videos on uh, uh, this topic, and they don't emphasize this point about whatever comes first from left to right. But if you kind of get this main idea here, um, then you'll understand the order of operations. And there are some other little subtleties and stuff that you really need to practice uh, beyond the scope of this problem. But if you understand this problem, you're definitely going to understand the gist of the order of operations. And, of course, I'm only giving myself roughly seven minutes so let's get back to this problem here. Okay, so um, let me go ahead and uh, well, we'll just leave it like so. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do 
is my parentheses. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to look to see, are there any parentheses, okay, or grouping symbols? Yes, there, uh, there are, right? There's these guys here. Then I also have these parentheses like so. So the way the parentheses works in the order of operations is you want to do the innermost first. So here, these parentheses are inside these brackets, okay? Remember, brackets are considered parentheses. They're just grouping symbols. So I'm going to go ahead and do the innermost parentheses first, and we kind of work from the inside out, all right? So depending on what your problem is, you could have multiple parentheses and brackets going on. So let's go ahead and do this part first. So we'll just rewrite it. It'll be 5 bracket. So 12 plus 8, of course, is going to be 20. So this is the first thing I'm doing, all right? This is the order of operations. So I'm taking a specific order, like, you know, step 1, step 2, step 3, etc. So uh, the order of operations, this guidance is telling me to do this first. Okay, so I have 20. And then just rewrite, get in the habit of rewriting the entire problem over again and a lot of students tend to be no for lack of a better word i'll use lazy okay i know i was when i was taking math it took many years for me to just say you know what it's just easier if i uh write everything out <laughs> and just try not to do too many steps at once because that's how you make mistakes and get confused okay so we took one step now i'm looking here and i'm still considering my parentheses and I'm saying okay well I have these parentheses what does that mean well it, all this means here is I need to now work on solving what's inside these parentheses or these brackets okay so we're going to focus on all of this uh, first okay we're going to deal with all of this and then once we simplify this down to a value we can continue on with the rest of the problem okay so now I have to uh, consider um, uh, I know what I have to focus on, so I'm, I'm going to go to my E, powers, okay? So are there any powers here? Yes, right here, okay? 2 cubed is a power. Remember, E stands for exponent, and exponent is a power. So we're here 2 to the third power. This guy here is the exponent. This is the base. The whole thing is considered a power. So let's go ahead and... Uh, Take the next step, so this will be 5, bracket, 20, divided by 2, minus 2 cubed. 2 cubed means 2 times 2 times 2, which, of course, is 8. So we'll write that down right there, times 2, and then we'll write a little plus 1. Remember, we don't want to try to take multiple steps at once because... We have to uh, understand, you know, the order of operations in terms of are we doing things in the correct order. So just take one step, okay, and then from there, take a look at what's left over and decide what's the next move. Okay, so now I'm going to look around and ask myself, are there any more powers? Nope. So we got our parentheses, our parentheses done, did our powers. Now, let's consider multiplication and division. Do we have multiplication and division? Yes, we do. We have division here and multiplication here. But remember, we're going to do whatever comes first from left to right. So that means I'm going to do this first because this comes first before this. Okay. All right. So let me go ahead and move this down. Okay. So let's go ahead and deal with 20 divided by 2. So I'll rewrite this five brackets or five bracket, excuse me, uh, 20 divided by 2, of course, is going to be 10. So 10 minus 8 times 2 bracket plus 1. All right, so I'm still here because I know I have to continue to work on everything that's inside of here. And I'm just looking around and saying, okay, do I have any more multiplication or division? And in fact, we do, right? Right here. So 8 times 2. Okay, I'm going to do that next, which, of course, is going to be 16. So let's go on and uh, deal with that now. So this would be 5 bracket 10 minus 8 times 2, of course, is 16 bracket plus 1. Okay, so now I'm still focusing on finishing everything inside the brackets here, okay, which is the parentheses. I'm focusing here. And I can see, obviously, I'm down to addition and subtraction. So 
um, looking, are there, is there any addition or subtraction? Yes, obviously there's, there's subtraction. And here you have to be very careful because this is going to be a negative number. So this is going to be 5 bracket 10 minus 16 is what? Hopefully all of you out there said negative 6 and not just 6. Okay. Got to be very careful here about your positive and negative numbers. Okay, so now I'm looking inside my parentheses, my uh, grouping symbol, and there's nothing to do. Okay, in other, in other words, I finished all the math that was inside that grouping symbol. So now I could start looking for stuff outside of that, and I have this 5 next to the 6. This is multiplication. So I have multiplication here, and I have addition there. So I'm going to do the multiplication before the addition. So 5 times negative 6 is going to be negative 30. So negative 30 plus 1. Hopefully all you stellar math students out there know that this is going to be negative 29. Okay, so that is our answer. Now, I have no idea uh, where I stand in terms of minutes on this. Uh, but I always try to get this around 7 minutes, but I probably went a little bit over. But if you understand this problem, okay, um, you definitely, you know, uh, probably know much more than most students know about the order of operations. Well, this is one of these classic areas, these topics where students think they know this topic better than they actually do, and they end up making many errors because they, uh, in fact, don't understand it as well as they need to. Okay, so hopefully this little, you know, uh, lesson kind of helped you out with the order of operations. But let's go ahead and finish this up. So at the time of this video, I've been on YouTube for, oh, a good 12 years. I literally have hundreds and hundreds of math videos on my channels. Hopefully consider subscribing. I'm posting new stuff all the time. If you enjoyed the video, definitely appreciate a thumbs up and leave me some feedback. How is math going for you? Do you like math? Um, you know, are you in middle school, high school, maybe college? Whatever the case is, you know, any feedback is good feedback. I'm going to leave a link to my pre-algebra course in the description of this video because um, pre-algebra is uh, one of those courses that really gets into the order of operations. It's kind of the first level course. But if you're in another course, once you go to my pre-algebra course, you can uh, check out my other courses. I literally have uh, quite a few math courses at various levels. So um, if you need another course, you can check that out. But with that, seeing, that being said, I definitely wish you all the best and have a great day.